Hello, 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 hello. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, it do be that dude who lives in the middle of nowhere on that island that looks like a botched bacon strip. Hopefully, you guys' day is going all good thus far, and your uh, start to 2023 is going groovy, groovy, groovy. Uh, I wanted to bring you guys a little bit of a uh, sort of channel update video. It's uh, been probably since, I, I guess, like November since I've sat down and talked to you guys, and just to start off 2023, Thought I'd hit you guys with a small little update video just to kind of check in on uh, how you guys are doing. How are you doing? Because you're number one. Keep that in mind. Remember that. Uh, and exactly how I'm going with things, uh, obviously, thus far. I also wanted to talk about uh, sort of my plans for this year on top of also something that is going to be happening this month, which means that I will be going on just a very small break, nothing major. There's a small little family getaway. We're going off to Destiny Islands. It's not really Destiny Islands. It's just like a little small island thing off the coast of New Zealand. I'm really looking forward to that. So I just thought I'd give you guys the rundown. But I definitely do want to talk about how this month has been going since my return. Uh, the return has kind of happened since December of last year through to this very point as of right now and I just simply want to say thank you guys so much I mean it's really the same thing every single time I come back I don't expect it to ever be any indifferent the patience you guys have had with me over the years uh, has been absolutely insane I feel very fortunate and very grateful to have such uh, understanding viewers watching me and my shenanigans. Obviously, I've needed a bit of time to uh, just go through the whole self-healing thing, and it's been a massive work in progress. Kind of just wanted to give you guys the update on that side of things. I'm doing a lot better nowadays. By the way, I just want to let you guys know I've got blue hands. No, I'm not turning into a, a nave or like a fucking smurf. Uh, me and Cass, uh, today actually, as of the time of recording this video, it's our two-year anniversary. Sorry, I'm detouring here. Uh, I just thought I'd roll with it for this video. It's going to be very unorganized and unscripted. Uh, um, but we tried to recreate the whole Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix Roxas Sora art with them eating the sea salt ice cream. We can't get sea salt ice cream on demand here in this country, so we had to use blue food coloring. I'll put a picture up on screen of that and then also like the absolute fucking mess I had to go through in order to make that happen. I ended up spilling it absolutely everywhere uh but yeah that just explains the blue fingers so um <laughs> blue fingers in regards to the mental health side of things i am doing so much better probably i would say the best i think i've ever been for like a long time since really honestly speaking about 16 15 years old which is like absolutely insane to really think about it's it's just like a long time uh, so I'm doing good and like trust me when I say this you guys really do have such a big part to play in that uh, Just seeing like all of the amazing incredible comments uh, of the support uh, Around that time when I kind of made that video explaining my sort of current position and then times beforehand Over the years too where I've explained to you guys not really in the best headspace and also eternally grateful for like the amazing support system I have outside of this whole internet thing, you know in regards to my wonderful girlfriend that I have these days as well as my incredible friends my incredible family uh, all of that, just taking time to absorb it properly, has been working absolute wonders. And so, uh, because of that sheer reason of being in a better mental position, I absolutely just can't wait for this year. But in regards to this month, I've been having a lot of fun. Obviously, there's been a few differences this time around with having a, a sort of divided focus on both Kingdom Hearts content as well as other content. I have been trying to dabble in uh, doing different stuff, and I did mention in that November update video of last year that I really need to start branching out. Out. As I did mention though, the Kingdom Hearts stuff isn't going anywhere. I love covering Kingdom Hearts and obviously I'm absolutely ecstatic for the future of Kingdom Hearts with Saga 2, Kingdom Hearts 4, Missing Link. I will do my best to keep you guys in the loop with Kingdom Hearts where I can. 
But in the interim of things, uh, obviously I will be focusing on different content, and I think uh, going forward for this year, that is going to be one of my major focuses, is having a bit more of a focus when it comes to Twitch. That way it will allow me to play through other games, and then from the live streams I can actually turn those into compiled, hyper-edited videos for YouTube. And honestly speaking, uh, I love doing all the Kingdom Hearts stuff and covering the news and doing uh, raw YouTube content, but my favorite content to do is most certainly being a full-time village idiot over on Twitch and then turning those into videos. So for this year, I really do want to have a little bit more of a focus on Twitch. It's just very hard to kind of juggle around both YouTube and Twitch. So like one week, it might be a full-on focused live streaming week. The other week, it might be a full-on focused content week, but I really do want to uh, make sure that throughout this year, things are a little bit different in regards to having that Kingdom Hearts there, but also having some other stuff in the mix. And especially considering that 2023, I think is probably the biggest year of gaming in a long time, or at least for me personally. I have a list of games that I'm just going to quickly read out that are releasing this year that I definitely have a lot of interest in. And potentially I might do content for some of these games. Some of these games I might end up live streaming and then inevitably content will come out of that for YouTube. But let's just go through the list of games that I personally have interest in. And maybe a few of these games there might be some content for. So Forspoken, Dead Space Remake, Hogwarts Legacy, Wulong Fallen Dynasty, uh, Star Wars Jedi Survivor, Resident Evil 4 Remake, Dead Island 2, thank god, finally, uh, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, oh my god, I simply, I just, I cannot wait, I'm, <laughs> oh my god, look, I'm not a Zelda fan in the slightest of things at all, but like, Breath of the Wild was a true experience, what an absolute video game. Been waiting a very long time for this. Again, this is coming from a non-Zelda fan. It's just the simple fact of like what they did with Breath of the Wild. Uh, I, I can't wait to see how that is furthermore uh, improved upon that, that format that they did, that absolute perfection of an open world title for Tears of the Kingdom. Cannot wait. Uh, Diablo 4 Final Fantasy 16, by the way, I do plan on live streaming the entirety of that playthrough, so look forward to that. Starfield, finally, the next major big Bethesda RPG since 2015's Fallout 4, I simply cannot wait. Redfall, uh, Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. If you were into uh, Jet Set Radio back in the day, then this is basically Jet Set Radio. Cannot wait for that. Spider-Man 2, obviously, obviously, obviously. Uh, Crash Team Rumble, we'll definitely be doing some streaming of that over on Twitch. Uh, some multiplayer goodness. Cannot wait, more Crash Manicoon. Disney Speedstorm, even though I have a feeling this is gonna be absolutely garbage, it's a Disney kart racer which probably means it's going to be garbage, but I'm willing to give it a go. Let's see if it works out. Lollipop Chainsaw Remake. Super strange that this is happening, but I am not complaining at all. Lies of P, another kind of Souls-like inspired title that is sending me a lot of Bloodborne vibes. It's not confirmed that it's coming out this year, at least I don't think so, but there's a pretty good chance it will. And finally, SpongeBob SquarePants The Cosmic Shake, a sort of follow-up to Battle uh, for Bikini Bottom. Cannot wait. Uh, the simple fact that this game is happening uh, gets my nipples really hard. So there's a lot of goodness coming out uh, throughout this year, and obviously there'll be more games that get announced for this year too as the year progresses. I also feel like it's going to be an absolutely incredible year in regards to like announcements and reveals. We'll obviously be getting more stuff to do with likely Kingdom Hearts 4 as well as Final Fantasy 7 and uh, Rebirth. Rebirth is meant to be releasing at the end of the year going into uh, 2024. I personally think that March 2024 is the more likely date. Uh, because of course, keeping in mind, we've got like E3 returning this year, so like th there's going to be a lot of video game news in amongst like uh, all of the major video game releases throughout this year. Hopefully we will hear a little bit about maybe the next Nintendo console. I think it's high time that, especially with Tears of the Kingdom releasing, which there have been uh, little whispers of the fact that Tears of the Kingdom is the last major Switch game, I would say we're on that cusp of caring about what is next in store for Nintendo and considering that looking at like the hardware specs and stuff of Switch it's becoming a little bit outdated at this point so um, I'm excited to see exactly what Nintendo have in store but I'm really excited for this year not just in regards to like the whole uh, new games and uh, E3's back and like Kingdom Hearts 4 and all that it's all exciting stuff but just I don't know I feel 
quite a bit better within myself. Uh, I don't want to like come out and be all excited and be like, I'm great, I'm good to go. And then of course I take like another break or, or something like that. And one thing I've really sort of told myself uh, over the course of all of these hiatuses over the years is just stop jumping the gun, stop making promises you, you can't keep uh, because inevitably that just leads to disappointment towards you guys. And I'm sick and tired of doing that. Uh, like for instance, I would really like to think that I can finally get the Kingdom Hearts 3 review out this year, but I'm just not going to sit here and be like, it's coming this year guys, look forward to it. Simply speaking, I just want to take my time with things, I don't want to promise anything, I just want to go with the flow. Uh, just see how things unfold as they unfold. If I want to do a video talking about this certain thing, then let's just do a video talking about that certain thing. If I randomly get inspiration for something, then I'm going to pursue it. Um, but I'm really confident about this year anyway, that's what I can say. I want to dibble and dabble and squabble and squibble uh, and experiment with all kinds of different uh, aspects and avenues of content, whilst of course keeping that Kingdom Hearts focus uh, alive and well throughout this year because I do have a feeling that again we will hear about Kingdom Hearts 4 this year there is that second breath concert coming up this month which is super exciting do have a feeling there will be something that comes out of that but I do feel like that will be more so Missing Link as we've already talked about uh, in regards to Kingdom Hearts for this year I think Missing Link is going to be the focus but I do feel like at some point this year there will be some Kingdom Hearts for D23 just to reiterate for those of you who may not have heard about this is happening uh, this year in September it's a huge one, probably what is going to be the biggest D23 of all time. It's to celebrate the 100th anniversary of Disney, which is absolutely massive. I would say there's probably a good chance that Kingdom Hearts 4 will appear there. And uh, I am not going to concrete this, but I am going to do my best to actually get my Bhutan over to Orlando, because that's where it's happening at Disney World, uh, and attend it in person for myself. Uh, without even knowing whatever if Kingdom Hearts 4 is actually going to be there but just if in case it is it would be awesome to actually physically be there in person if not hey uh, finally since 2018 I'm now doing a trip I used to do trips overseas mainly to America all the time um so I haven't done that since 2018 due to like COVID and whatnot and obviously everything going on in my personal life but we're finally back at that point where the whole travel thing's happening again so I'm overdue for a trip um, and I've definitely missed my American trip so that's another thing that could be happening this year we'll just have to wait and see but uh, that's pretty much it uh, guys uh, just to kind of end off as I was mentioning uh, I am going away on a small little family getaway at the end of this week for about 10 days uh, so that's really exciting uh, even though like I've been on the hiatus for like most of last year I'm looking forward to this in a bit of headspace and with family and actually going somewhere quite nice I'll keep you guys updated on what I'm getting up to during the trip so like make sure to follow me on Instagram uh, as well as Twitter handles on screen as of right now I've also recently started TikTok if that's your kind of thing I upload some absolute hot garbage there so you, you might want to follow me there I don't know but pretty much this means that there won't be any streams now until I actually return which is around the like 16th of January uh, and in regards to YouTube content there'll be like pretty much just minimal content coming out trying to fit in the whole like summer thing at the moment hanging out with friends catching up with family with the whole New Year's Christmas thing that's been going on whilst also trying to work is a little bit overwhelming and quite hard but I'm doing my best to ensure there's at least some stuff coming out uh, and some stuff for you guys to sort of indulge in what I really do want to say is the major return to the channel with like the focus going 100% uh, but not to a point of me burning out will be happening towards the end of January just kind of think of like everything that's been happening here on the channel since me coming back is like a little bit of an entree to things but things will really start to kick off once I return back from my vacation but that's pretty much it guys uh, thank you so much again for, for just dealing with me and sticking with me and having me. I really appreciate it. Like, again, you guys know it. What I do here on the internet is my absolute dream job and the fact that you guys have enabled me to do this for such a long time. I've been running TGJ now for well over 10 years. Uh, it, it warms my heart. It's all I ever wanted as a small little gremlin child. Uh, it's crazy to think that I'm able to do this. So it's really all thanks to you guys. Thank you so much. I'm forever grateful. 
Uh, and with all that being said, make sure you guys have a really enjoyable holiday season. I know it's like freezing cold where most of you guys are located, but I don't know, go build a snowman or something. That sounds sick as. I wish I could do that, honestly. I prefer the cold more so than the hot. Uh, however, guys, uh, that being said, I'm Cynical. Hope you guys have a fantastic one, and I'll see you dudes real soon. Peace. Thank you.